Is celebratory gunfire really harmless fun? You may have seen militias, movie characters, or even your own friends doing it. They also fire weapons into the sky at ceremonial services, or where guards fire shots to symbolize particular events, like at funerals. What confuses me is that when one of these bullets falls back to Earth, surely they're falling at such a great speed that they do damage to anyone or anything unfortunate enough to be standing below. After all, even a penny falling from the Empire State Building is supposed to kill you, right? Imagine what a bullet could do. Amazing. Well, before we investigate the potential danger of a falling bullet, let's first find out if a dropped penny from the Empire State Building would actually kill you. Let's assume the penny used is a standard American one-cent coin. As the force of gravity pulls the penny faster and faster towards the ground, the amount of air resistance acting on it increases. Eventually, the accelerating forces will be balanced out by this drag meaning the penny won't be able to go any faster because it would have reached its maximum speed, known as its terminal velocity. Surprisingly, due to its shape, a penny reaches its terminal velocity after falling just 15 meters, which is just a bit higher than the bean sculpture in Chicago. So, dropping a penny from any height above that would not change the speed it would reach when hitting the ground. At its terminal velocity, a standard one cent coin weighing 2.5 grams would travel at around 40 kilometers per hour, or about 25 miles per hour, and that's a generous speed, without considering the effects of wind. This isn't fast enough to kill someone. Granted, it would hurt, but you'll likely just be left with a bruise or scratch. This is because a penny isn't very aerodynamic. They're just flat metal discs that move and spin erratically. So what about falling bullets? How dangerous can they really be? Well, it's a bit more complicated than you would have thought. But before I explain, why not subscribe? We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated, or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now here's what happens when a bullet is fired into the sky. The thing is that due to wind and a variety of different factors, a bullet fired into the air, even directly upwards, may fall hundreds of meters away from where you shot it. So you'd have to be very unlucky to be in the path of one. If fired at angles, they can travel kilometers across the land before hitting the ground. So it's incredibly difficult to track and predict where one would land. According to computer simulations, a 30 caliber rifle bullet fired directly upwards reaches a maximum height of about 3,000 meters or 10,000 feet and takes approximately 58 seconds to make its round trip. It would reach a terminal velocity after falling about 120 meters or 400 feet as it reaches a speed of around 160 kilometers per hour or about 44 meters per second. Surprisingly, that's not fast enough for it to penetrate human skin. It would need to travel at around 61 meters per second to do that. But this doesn't make sense because there are numerous cases of people being killed by celebratory gunfire. The most recent example happened in 2016 as a godwoman and her private guards at a wedding in India killed the groom's aunt and left three other relatives critically wounded. There are dozens of other incidents like this, including one of a man who had a bullet hit his nose and go through his chin. He was only saved because it hit his necklace, which stopped it from penetrating his chest. That guy should definitely buy a lottery ticket. But how do these accidents happen if a falling bullet doesn't reach a terminal velocity high enough to penetrate the skin? Well, it all depends on the angle at which the bullet was fired. When a bullet is fired straight upwards, it tumbles on its side on the way down, creating considerable drag that slows it down. This is because a bullet's weight isn't concentrated on its head. But if it was like a shuttlecock, then it would be really dangerous, even if fired perfectly vertically. Nevertheless, a bullet will tend to fall on its head if it's fired a certain way. If the bullet is fired at a slight angle, the bullet is likely to fall pointing downwards and remain spin-stabilized on an angular ballistic trajectory. That basically means it will be traveling tip first. If this happens, the bullet can reach a terminal velocity of around 90 meters per second, or 300 kilometers per hour, after falling about 1,000 meters into its downwards trajectory. Since a bullet traveling at only 61 meters per second can penetrate human skin, a bullet falling from a non-vertical shot definitely has the ability to kill you. And obviously, bullets fired at an upward angle of 45 degrees or less can be far more lethal since they're likely to hit someone on the ground while traveling at a much greater speed. In this case, gravity isn't directly opposing the bullet's motion, so the projectile stays at a higher velocity throughout its flight path. 
It's also more likely to maintain its initial aerodynamically favorable orientation. So a bullet fired into the sky can kill, and that's why it's illegal in most states and cities to fire weapons into the air. It's incredibly difficult to fire a weapon perfectly straight upwards. The slightest angle could send the bullet off onto a trajectory that enables it to land pointing downwards. If we look at the video of celebratory fire at the Indian wedding, we can clearly see the weapons being fired at an angle, so it comes as no surprise that people were injured. In fact, the god woman in the video and her companions are being charged for murder over the incident. But even if you're lucky enough that nobody gets injured, you can still be prosecuted for firing weapons into the air like this. One 22-year-old student, again from India, posted a video of him firing a pistol into the air on social media. He was sentenced under the Arms Act, punishable by a few years in prison. And if you then wondered how people got away with firing shots at ceremonial events like the Three Volley Salute, there's a simple explanation for that. They use blank cartridges. So a projectile isn't actually fired, and hence there's no risk of someone getting hurt. What makes shooting into the air for real particularly dangerous is that 77% of all impacts are to the head, which is unsurprising because that's the first thing a falling object would hit. In fact, that means that the chances of dying from celebratory gunfire are about 10 times as high as from a direct gunshot wound. So, guess the take-home message here is that if you want to celebrate, consider alternatives like high-fiving or eating ice cream. It's much more responsible than potentially killing someone. If you enjoyed this video, you should head over to Question King, where you'll find noble answers to more complicated questions, explained in an easy-to-understand format. Click the video on screen to check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching.